What is up guys, Nintendo here once again, and it's time for another pickup video. But this is a pickup video unlike other pickup videos. This is a massive lot of toys. Uh, and then after that, there's going to be two other parts to this because there's also a crap ton of PC games that I got. I mean, more than you can imagine. And then after that, there's going to be another video that's going to be like gaming stuff, accessories, uh, some consoles, uh, just all kinds of craziness. So it's going to have to be broken up into three videos. And also there's probably going to be a regular pickup video in between one of those parts somewhere, maybe after this one. I'm not really sure, but basically I sold all of my Legos for a really decent price, but included in that was a bunch of trade that came to me. And all this stuff together is more stuff than I've probably ever picked up before at one time. Um, but yeah, it's a lot. So it's going to be split up into three videos. And uh, we're just going to get straight into the toys because there's a lot. So let's just get to it. Okay, guys, we're filming this kind of uh, <laughs> very unprofessionally. There's just too much stuff to set it up and make everything look all totally nice and everything. We're just doing it straight, the, straight from the box and uh, straight from the giant bin over there. And yeah, we're just going to go through this as quickly as possible because I'm sure this video is going to be a lot longer than usual. But this is, again, just the first part of a multi-series from this giant pickup I got. So let's get straight to it. We'll start with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, um, which actually I almost forgot this. This came in a lot, too. It's a TMNT... A CD player, actually, and it's from 2000 and... Oh, do 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 I can't find it, but I had found it before. 2006. So that's pretty cool. Uh, disc spin in it, but I couldn't get it to play. But then again, I was using really crappy batteries, so... Let's just set that aside. Man, I need a place to put this stuff. So anyways, first thing here we've got... Second thing here we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ready for Battle game. I cannot believe it, but this thing is actually 100% complete. I've never seen this game before. Really, really neat. Um, there's the board. All the pieces and, like, manuals, all that stuff are there. A little spinny thing. Yep. Pretty neat. These generally go for about $20 to $30 online. Seems like most of them are $30. There's not many of those online, though, sold or available. Same with the CD player. Kind of crazy. Okay, then we've got a bag of turtles here. So, we've got the camo army dude of Michelangelo. I don't know where to put these. I'm going to throw them back here. Um, we've got the rat dude. Or no, he's a mole. Oh, man, I can't remember his name. I did know his name, but now I can't remember. I had another one of him, too. We've got regular Michelangelo. No belt. The duck dude, and he's very dirty. I like this guy, though. Ace something? Maybe something ace. We've got Samurai Leo. I like the Samurai guys. They're pretty neat. I've had a couple of them. Shredder, just dirty and beat up. Nobody cares. We've got a Raphael with no belt. Just some cheapos. Uh, rat Lord Dude. Rat Man. Rat something. Rat King. We've got Casey Jones. Pretty cool. We've got a Leonardo. Pretty cool. Uh, there's an accessory here. This actually goes to one of the vehicles. It's like a... It's like a beach buggy, I think. And, uh, yeah, it says Cowabunga on it. I did not think Cowabunga was spelled with a K. But okay. Fairly nice rock steady. Pretty cool. And another samurai dude. We've got Raphael Samurai. I really like this figure. I might be keeping him. And Baxter Stockman. No wings, though. And very, very dirty. And then we've got the frog guy. But I can't remember his name either. I have a better one of him, too. So, okay. So that's it for that. Then we've got the Lord of the Rings toys. But first, there is one guy in here that... Uh, we thought it was Lord of the Rings, me and the dude that did the deal, but it's not. This is actually a Spawn figure, McFarlane figure. He is heavy and beefy. He's pretty cool, actually. All right, moving on. We've got one of the figures I'm keeping. Uh, definitely uh, Witch King of Angmar, I think, right? Maybe? Or is he just a ring wraith? I can't remember. We've got Treebeard. And uh, he's missing something on the back, but I think maybe figures are supposed to ride on his back. I'm not really sure, but he's pretty cool. I actually haven't gone through this whole box yet. This is one of my favorites, too. One of the kings that had to repay the debt. And uh, he's actually got um, this cape and everything. And I think he did come with a sword. I'm not sure if the sword's in there, though. 
We've got this hulking monstrosity. I am not convinced that this guy is Lord of the Rings. If anybody knows, let me know. I'm not sure who he is. He doesn't look recognizable from the movies, but I don't see any markings. And this on the back looks like... That just doesn't look Lord of the Rings. I don't know. I'm not sure what he is. Considering there was already one McFarlane toy in here, this could be something else like that, but I don't think it's McFarlane. They're usually marked, but I don't see any markings on this guy. So if anybody knows, let me know. Please and thank you. Uh, this is another one I'm not convinced is Lord of the Rings, but it might be. The armor looks kind of like it, but man, I don't recognize this character specifically, but it sure is built like a Lord of the Rings figure or Hobbit figure. And speaking of Hobbits, we've got uh, whoever this is. Uh, possibly Merry, possibly Pippin, not sure. You know, they, they don't really get the faces perfect on these, so kind of hard to tell. We've got one of the elves. I don't think it's Legolas. Because I've had Legolas before, and he, he doesn't look like that. But again, the faces are... <laughs> they're not always the best. Um, Boromir? I think that's Boromir. But yeah, nice armor. Really cool stuff. Really enjoying these Lord of the Rings figures. They're really nicely detailed. I'm not sure who this guy is. Ah, his arm's like twisted around in an unnatural way. But he's got a nice sword on him and his hilt and everything, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know who he is. I know that there was a couple people on my last Lord of the Rings video that was able to list off every name of every character, but I personally cannot tell, uh, or know. This one does have a broken hand, and I think this is Legolas, but again, he's got a broken hand. Womp womp, that sucked. This sure does look like Strider. Uh, yeah, pretty sure. Pretty damn sure. Why I can't think of his real name right now. <laughs> he goes by, god damn it, anyways, the King of Gondor. Or the eventual king, the heir to the throne. Uh, but yeah, Strider. Yeah, what the hell is his name? On? God, uh, I don't know, but there's another one of him, and then there's another one of possibly him again, but it's different. I, I have no idea. Um, yep. I don't want to wager a ton of guesses right now because there's just too many figures to sit there and do that. But this guy's really cool. Definitely an elf. Super cool. I don't know if his, all of his weapons are in there, but he came with the sword. And obviously a bow and arrow. Pretty neat. Very detailed on that guy. This guy is definitely one of my favorites. But he is not Lord of the Rings. Just checked. Yeah, this guy's actually marked, and he is McFarlane. So, I don't know who this guy is. If anybody knows, let me know. But I may keep him. He looks like maybe from the Samurai line, but he is sick. This guy is awesome. Just noticed that he is not Lord of the Rings. We've got a Ring Wraith. Freaking awesome. Probably keeping him. Super cool. Don't know if the cape's in here. Maybe this goes to him. Uh, maybe not. But there's another cape down here, too. So, I, I don't know. But there's a couple capes in here. So, and we've got yet, a, no, I'm not, uh, I was going to say, is that Strider also? He is ugly. He is an ugly, ugly man. So, uh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> uh, definitely Frodo, which is awesome, with his freaking legs were like twisted around. <laughs> but he's got, uh, he's got his sword, or, well, I guess for him it's just a dagger, but uh, pretty cool. We've got this screaming dude. Ah, rah, ah, ah. Okay, that's it. Uh, obviously, you guys can see there's another one. I just got one of these in the last Lord of the Rings pickup. This is the giant freaking Sauron or Witch King, whatever you want to call him. He's like the representation of Sauron, right? Right? Ah, oh, man, I suck at this. Okay, and then we've got. I'm not sure who this is. Random dude. Pretty cool. Got his cape and everything. Neat. Neato burrito. Um, looks like another Frodo, actually, with a similarly broken ankle. Oh, Jesus. Uh, poor guy. Okay, that's better. A little bit of surgery on him. You'll be fine. Um, oh, I can't remember her name, but she's awesome. I actually really like this figure a lot. They did a good job on this figure. Pretty awesome. So we got her. And finally, we have another one of the uh, Ghost King dudes that need to repay the debt and 
come flying out of the earth. Yay! And lots of accessories. Cape, uh, cloak, cape, backpack thing. Uh, more capes, cloaks. Actually, here's a helmet, and it sure looks like it might go to this guy. Possibly. Does that go to him? Maybe. Not sure. Another helmet, which is cool because that looks like a Gondor helmet. And a sheath. Just random accessories. There's a sword and a gauntlet and another sword right here. A couple of them. And a giant, giant shield that appears to be broken. I have no idea if that is Lord of the Rings. It sure looks like it. And a really cool, I think, elf's shield. And I think that's it. So that's it on the Lord of the Rings and Turtles. Okay, so here comes the big mess of toys. Um, <laughs> this is a lot to tackle. But, uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. First of all, this is actually thrown in at the last minute. We have a giant Pee Wee Herman doll. He is actually from 1987. He does not have his, like, outer suit, his clothes or anything, and his pull string is broken. But Adrian was super stoked to see him, and uh, she gets him as a present because she loves Pee Wee Herman. So that's one thing right there. Actually, you know what? He's too big, so we're just going to put him aside. And then we'll just start laying toys out all over here. But uh, let's get straight to it. First of all, let's take care of these two because I always get the names confused. And before I forget, <laughs> this is... Um... God... Uh, this is Visionaries. Okay, I had to really think about that for a second. So this is a Visionaries uh, something cycle. I can't remember what it's called. It is missing the windshield. Uh, I wish I had that, but I don't. So anyways, there's that. It's got the nice hologram on it. The other line of toys that has holograms are these. These are Supernaturals, and there you go. You can actually see them a little bit there. I love Supernaturals, and I have not found many in my travels, so really cool to get this guy. And actually, I'm pretty sure I have this guy's shield, so that's awesome. Okay, moving on, let's go to the, um, whew. God, where do I go? Where do I go from here? Holy crap, let's just do some random stuff. Here's a cool, like, loot crate uh, cell phone standee. It's from uh, Knights of Sidonia. I actually really like this. I'm not sure why, but it really grabbed my attention. It's really neat. So that's pretty cool. I've got some, some Gundam stuff here. I've got this cool battle damage dude with wings, which I really like. I think he's really neat. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about these guys, so... Not sure what names are, but I've got some SD Gundam stuff. This big chunky dude. And this cute looking dude who has little eyeballs. He's pretty neat. Uh, we've got one of these Gundam dudes. I wish I could find a shoulder pad. I still might be able to at the dude's house where I got this stuff from, but he's really pretty awesome. Every time I film, I get the hiccups. And one more SD Mini Gundam dude, really awesome, super cool looking, detailed, very, very articulated, and yeah, just really neat. Uh, I think that's, nope, save the bus for last. We've got this cool gold guy, super rad with these like see-through purple hands. I really like this dude, I actually might keep him. I'm not even a Gundam fan, but he is awesome, so cool. And... Okay, next line of toys we'll get into. How about we go with some McFarlane stuff? We've got this giant alligator with armor and cybernetic like implants and guns and all kinds of stuff. He's missing a couple pieces, but he's a pretty cool display piece, so I, I may keep him. We've got a like zombie type spawn, which is pretty cool. He's in actually pretty good shape. I'm not sure how curved these are supposed to be. I need to look him up, but he looks like he's in pretty good shape. He obviously had something on the back there. I try not to generally get McFarlane toys and you'll see why. It's like every one of them's got something wrong with him. This one's my favorite and I am keeping him, but he's got a broken foot. His foot is just broken off right there. Other than that though, he's got his chains and everything. He is awesome. Super cool. I think he's staying in the collection um, just as a figure to stand like on a top shelf or something looking down. So rad. But again, spawn figures, there's always something wrong with them. There's always something missing. Much like this guy, who's one of the uh, like cybernetic spawns. He's really cool. He's got some badass armor, but he is missing 
one piece that's like this one back here. So I don't know if uh, my buddy's got that or not, but yeah, he, other than that, he's in really cool shape. He's neat. Let's see. Moving on from Spawn. Oh, no, one more. I've got this dude. I don't remember his name, but he may be staying in my collection as well. He's really badass. He came with a bunch of accessories, which I don't have, but that's okay. He's just a neat figure. Okay, moving on. We've got uh, video game stuff. So let's get to that. First of all, we've got a Pokemon Yahtzee that actually works and it's really neat. However, I'm not going to turn it on because I have a hard time turning it off, but it's in pretty nice shape. It is... Oh, $19.99 Hasbro. Pretty freaking cool. And continuing with some video game stuff. We've got a Capcom uh, Street Fighter II uh, Ken figure, I guess. But I thought Ken wore red and Ryu wore blue, but he's got blonde hair, so he must be Ken, <laughs> right? Or maybe he's just a character I'm not aware of. Maybe not from Street Fighter 2, maybe from a different Street Fighter. But he's definitely a Street Fighter, and he's definitely Capcom. Pretty awesome. Uh, sticking with the video game theme, I think this might be a Loot Crate guy. I haven't looked him up yet, but he's like, he's from the Rockstar, or what What games are they? Uh, the ones where you can play guitar and stuff. Rock Band. I don't know if he's from Rock Band, but I'm pretty sure he is. Pretty damn sure. And I'm pretty sure he's like a Loot Crate figure, but he's pretty cool. He's pretty metal with his freaking denim jacket. And sticking with video game stuff, this one is actually just a fast food toy, but one of the cooler fast food toys I've ever seen. Uh, let's see what this is from. Uh, actually, it says Shiny. UCS 1995. I'm not sure. I think I looked him up and he ended up being like Burger King or something. But we got an Earthworm Jim, a little squeezy toy, and his head pops off. And <laughs> I don't know what the point of that is, but yeah, Earthworm Jim. Come on, that's awesome. Everybody loves Earthworm Jim. Come on. Earthworm Jim. Uh, two of the cooler... Oh, wait, no, we got another Street Fighter dude. We got Doslim, Dahaslim, whatever. He is missing his little... Uh, shorts, but he does still have the belt, which is funny, but I'll see if I can try to find that as well. But yeah, he's actually a pretty cool figure. I like him. Moving on, we've got Gutsman. Big figure from Mega Man. Really cool. His arm shoots off. Woo! And uh, yeah, he's in really nice shape. He's pretty cool. I'm not sure if anything goes up here. I'll have to check, but yeah, Gutsman, pretty awesome. And... Same line of toys, we've got Magnet Man. How do magnets work? Yeah, he's pretty awesome too, pretty neat. So if anybody's after Mega Man figures, let me know. Uh, and I think the last video game related one we've got is the arguably the coolest. Uh, as soon as I saw this, I was like, that is Resident Evil. And certainly it was. This is a Capcom toy. It's a Resident Evil forest zombie, I believe is what he's called. Really cool, and he does the whole uh, his arms raise up. Yeah, pretty neat. And then, okay. Two things I was very stoked about and then took it home and realized I was only stoked about one of them. <laughs> because this one's broken and he was actually glued together. But we've got an alien here. Uh, really badass. I collect alien xenomorphs. And uh, I don't know which one this is. He's definitely a later line. But his arm was glued on. And his hand on that arm was glued on, so I have to reattach those and just use them as a display piece. Uh, but, but, I'm a huge fan of the original Alien figures. What were they? Kenner, I believe? And we've got an Alien that I did not have. I have like, man, probably seven or eight of these guys. And now I've got this guy as well. He's the boar, I think. And uh, really cool the way his spine snap up. And he is in excellent condition. Such a surprise to see something I truly needed for my collection. Uh, yeah, so I'm very happy about that one. We'll put them ass to ass. Maybe that's how they make babies. Okay, uh, let's move on to some smaller figures. Just some random stuff. I haven't looked this one up yet, but it's definitely Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. And he's got this, like, grappling hook spike thingy. And, uh, man, he's hard to focus on. Yeah, he's like nearly impossible to focus on. But I assure you it's Snake Eyes. Yeah, I don't know why it's not. There we go. 
Ugh, maybe. Sheesh. There we go. So Snake Eyes, he's got some, like, battle stuff going on. Pretty neat. Don't know what he's from, though. I mean, he's from G.I. Joe, but I've never seen anything like that before. We've got a tiny little Masters of the Universe uh, Cyclops, dude. Why is this not focusing? It's just really not wanting to focus on a toy video of all videos, but yeah, pretty cool. Bent sword. <laughs> um, random, we've got a Metabot in here. Really cool. I always like this Metabot. He's a neat guy. And these are the guys you can like switch parts out and stuff. Why is this not focusing? But yeah, pretty neat. Don't really run across Metabots too often. Uh, this was really neat because I collect... Um, I collect Exo Squad, and so finding another JT Marsh was neat because I actually have another, um, God, why is it not focusing? Jeez, man, this is terrible. Uh, but yeah, JT Marsh, I actually have an extra of his, like, armor, his E-frame or whatever the hell they're called, so pretty neat to get him. I love the way they're articulated like G.I. Joe's. Uh, this is funny <laughs> and random. A little elf figure here. Uh, yeah, I'll figure there. Just does not want to focus. Here, let's stop this clip and find out why. Okay, let's see if this works a little better. Uh, we've got some... Oh, wait, there's a homie in here. <laughs> why is there a homie in here? I don't know, but yeah. Anybody remember homies? I actually have a bunch of these. I don't know why it's having such trouble focusing. This sucks because I'm trying to record this video and I need to get it done. Uh, but whatever. I guess we'll just kind of work with it. we got a mask guy. He's missing a leg, though. But he came with a bunch of mask guys. And I forgot one, so I'll have to run in the room real quick and grab him. But we've got this guy. No mask. We've got the, like, boss dude. I, he might be a bad guy. I can't remember, actually. But, jeez, this sucks. Just absolutely will not focus. This guy looks like a grumpy old man. And then we've got this bad guy with the messed up face. When I was a kid, I always thought this guy's face was hilarious. But, mer, mer, I'm, a, I'm a bad guy. Mer. Yeah, he's ugly. <laughs> and then we've got this dude. No, I don't remember all their names. But he's pretty cool. I like his armor. Pretty neat. Good condition. Besides a little paint wear. And then I did get uh, this guy with his mask, which I remember this guy. I feel like I had this guy when I was a kid. Uh, I don't know why I would have had him, because I'm not sure if I had too many mask vehicles, and I'm not sure I had his. Maybe I got him in a trade or something. Okay, one second. That was definitely more than one second, but we've got this, but I just had it displayed. Um, and the dude that it, he's on the bike has his mask. And yeah, so that is my second mask vehicle that I've gotten recently, and uh, really happy to add that to the collection. Okay, moving on, let's get to some of my favorite stuff. Even though there wasn't anything really great, uh, this is just a bag of G.I. Joe accessories and some stuff that looks like maybe knockoff G.I. Joe accessories. Like, this looks like an Alley Viper backpack, but it just doesn't feel right. Uh, but there's some genuine G.I. Joe accessories, and including... Um, there's a couple helmets in here that are pretty cool, so anyways, I'm not going to dig through that. And then we got some figures, but a lot of these are modern, and I didn't really know who they were. Some are older, like this guy. Um, I couldn't figure out who he was at all. And he is so yellowed, like so freaking sun faded. But I'm pretty sure this is Liu Kang from uh, Street Fighter 2, so that's neat. And we've got a Tunnel Rat, which is definitely a newer one, but I do like him. He's pretty cool. I like his articulation. They still have the same old, like, crotch style. Not like the newer style, like, uh, like this guy. No, he's actually got the same. Uh, like this, where they're just like a little wider. But this is actually apparently a Snake Eyes, but he's missing his visor. That sucks. But, I mean, most of this stuff just came with all of this stuff, so whatever. This looks like Overlord, but like maybe a repaint or something. He's got a gold... Um, Cobra symbol. He's very slick. I like this guy. I wish I had his helmet. This guy's uh, one of the 90s Dreadnoughts, I believe, but I cannot remember his name at all. But yeah, him. He's really loose. I do enjoy this one, but he's a little scuffed up. But that's a Iron Grenadier uh, version. <sighs> Man, I don't even know. They've made so many of these guys, but he's pretty cool. He's got his sword. It actually comes out of the sheath, which is really cool. 
we've got a very obviously this must be dusty dude um yeah he's dusty but i don't know like what line this is he's the same line as that tunnel rat from what i can tell um i think this guy's deep six pretty sure but he's strange he's got the weird camo on him he was actually hard to find even in the Joe archive, um, because he's got the same body as another diver who's got a different name. Uh, this is very obviously Wild Bill, but I don't have his hat, which I did. This is all stuff I'm hoping to find later on at my buddy's house. Um, got an old school one, got sci-fi version two. Uh, he's got a broken crotch, just like the other sci-fi version two that I have. That really sucks. And then the last G.I. Joe figure we've got, uh, was this Storm Shadow? It might have been a new Storm Shadow. I think it was, but he's actually really cool. Okay, and then last G.I. Joe thing. Well, actually not last G.I. Joe thing. There's a couple random things. Well, here, let's do these first. I haven't seen these in years, but a couple G.I. Joe cards. Got Psych Out, Cobra Commander, the G.I. Joe Special Missions cover. And then another G.I. Joe, like, Famous Battles. I think it's a cover of a comic. But, yeah, really cool. I haven't seen these in so long. What a blast from the past. And then we've got a Cobra Nightlander with the oars and motor and even the covering to the motor, but no gun. And I think it came with, like, a couple other things. But really cool. This is Nightlander version, hmm, like, 3. There's a lot of versions of these, so I'm not a positive about that, but... It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because I do have a Blue Nightlander, one of the originals, so that goes well. And then let's see what else we have here. So that's going to be it for Joe for now. There's like a couple tiny things or one tiny thing. I'll get to that later. I think the reason the camera was having trouble is because it was just really small stuff. Uh, let's get to wrestling figures. Let's test that theory out because these guys are small. We've got a little hand puppet Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. And I'm not sure who this is, actually. I'm really not sure who this is. But, uh, yeah, they're cool. Little original finger puppets so you can make them kick each other's asses. Okay. We've got a giant Sting figure. Uh, of note, was there was a giant Rowdy Roddy Piper figure that was a little bit bigger than him, and he was like 1984. I did sell him, but uh, this Sting figure is pretty cool, and he actually has very limited articulation, but at least he's got some. Then we've got... Oh, Big Van Vader. Love it, dude. I freaking love the Vader. It says Vader time on the front. Yeah, pretty cool. Rest in peace, dude. Got so many of these wrestlers, I could say that all day. But yeah, rest in peace to all the wrestlers that we've lost. But yeah, Big Van Vader. I remember being a fan of him when I was a kid. And he goes really well next to Sting. And then we've got uh, some bendy figures. I got a lot more wrestling figures, but I don't know the current ones. I'm not even going to try, and it would just take too long. But here's a Macho Man Randy Savage. This guy is from... Oh, this one's Macho King, actually. And he is 1991 Titans. But as you can see, he's not Macho Man. This is when he was Macho King. Pretty cool figure. And then we get to the bendy guys, which everybody loves the bendy guys. These are the ones you want to look out for and, and you know, the ones that, like, spring up. And these, some of these are really dirty, but they can be cleaned. Um, pretty sure this is King Hung Bundy. Pretty awesome. We've got Huck Hogan. Huck, Huck Hogan. Hook. That's actually, <laughs> I used to make fun of, uh, of uh, Ultimate Warrior because he always said Hoke Hogan, like it's H-O-K-E or something. We've got a Macho Man Randy Savage here, uh, pretty dirty. <laughs> and we've got uh, the Iron Sheik, which is actually really cool. That guy's hilarious. Uh, yeah, he's obviously been through a lot, but he's really neat to see because I do like Iron Sheik. And it says I ran on his pants, which is just funny. And then we've got Bobby the Brain Heenan. So cool. I was actually pretty stoked to see this guy. I, I don't know. I might have to keep him. He's pretty neat. I don't know why. I always loved Bobby the Brain Heenan and what a dick he was. Uh, but pretty fun. You guys can stare at my hairy arms for a minute. Okay, let's get on with some random stuff. We have another Pee Wee Herman guy. This is actually a figure, but he does not have his coat. But he's pretty cool. I think he's 1987. Same as the doll. But uh, Adrian squealed when she saw him, so <laughs> it's 
pretty funny. She likes Pee Wee Herman. Uh, I've got a Predator figure. Pretty neat. I do like these guys. I do have another one in my collection. So I may keep him. I'm not sure, but he's got like the alien thing wrapped around him, the tail. Pretty awesome. This is McFarlane, and it came in a two pack. And uh, the dude's keeping his eye out for the other figure because he's pretty sure he has them. And then I've got Frankenstein. This is going to my buddy Ben because he loves horror stuff. And when I saw him, I was just like, he needs this. Uh, he's pretty old, actually. He is 19. No, oh, not. Yeah, 91. I thought he was older than that, but maybe not. Okay. And then we've got. This is cool. An original Battlestar Galactica figure. I've never run into one of these. Pretty neat. He's got a large alien ass and four arms. Four armed ass guy. Uh, <laughs> American Gladiators, dude? Oh, it's just weird. Okay, let's speed this up. Okay, and then we've got this is neat. Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare figure. I've never actually run into one of these before. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try to find his hat. At my buddy's house, he's got like a big bag of accessories, so I'm going to check that out. Look for him and his gun, but really just cool to see a Bucky O'Hare figure. I never really see that. Man, this guy's amazing. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of Power Rangers knockoffs, and a lot of them look cool, and a lot of them look like crap. Most of them look like crap. This guy is built almost like a G.I. Joe. He's built like a straight arm G.I. Joe. If he just had that rotating arm right there... He would be um, very much like a G.I. Joe. I don't... Power Force? Maybe his name is Power Force? I remember his name was something like Frank. Like, look at his ass. Boonch, boonch. Oops, oops, oops. But yeah, he's really neat. I may keep this guy just because he's articulated like a G.I. Joe and he looks cool. He looks like a... His face looks like a Transformer, like a Decepticon. His helmet reminds me of Dino Riders. But the way he's articulated is like a G.I. Joe, and he's like a hard plastic, too. He's pretty neat, but he is a knockoff. Uh, this one is super cool. And yes, more cool ones are coming. As far as, like, we're getting to the better stuff. This is a TSR Dungeons & Dragons um, Hydra, I believe. Super badass. One of the tongues is almost falling off. But, uh, yeah, he's in pretty good shape, and he's all totally like Bendy, so pretty neat. I've had a few Dungeons & Dragons figures. I may keep that one. Oh, and speaking of Battlestar Galactica, I'm pretty sure this is just from Loot Crate, and it's a little bent, but um, got Scar. Nice Cylon Raider, but one that's actually got a name and a reputation, Scar. They did a whole episode on this guy, so pretty cool. Definitely keeping him. As a Battlestar Galactica fan, I could not pass on keeping him. Let's do a couple really cool ones here. We've got two Biker Mice from Mars. We've got this guy <laughs> and this guy. I don't know much about Biker Mice from Mars, so I don't know their names or anything, but they're little antenna retract and stuff, so pretty cool. They're very dirty, but I'm going to clean them up. But yeah, nothing I've ever run into before and something I was happy to run into because I just like finding toys I've never found before. Uh, like this. I've never run across any Thundercat figures. Just seem to be elusive, but here's a little like statue like Thundercats figure and it's um 1986 looks like pretty awesome I'm not too familiar with Thundercats this guy is awesome though and he is a Thundercat uh one of the bad guys Hammerhand I believe his name is but giant giant punching hand <laughs> so cool but yeah he's pretty neat and beefy as hell oh does this actually move something oh look at that there you go so he's pretty neat got a couple transformers uh but they're newer but they're cool i really like this komodo dragon and the way he transforms is pretty neat he basically just splits in half yeah it, it's pretty cool and his mouth does open and stuff which is neat uh dig it i dig this guy he's pretty neat and then we've got uh downshift i believe I'm, i believe this guy's name is downshift He's in really great shape, neat car, really nice design, uh, very well put together it seems like, but I have not tried transforming him yet, but yeah, he's pretty neat, I like him, I may keep him as well. And moving on, uh, this is kind of weird because I run into Z-Bots pretty often, but I do not really run into Z-Bot vehicles very often, and I have no idea what the hell this thing is supposed to be or do. 
Uh, but it's got this like spinning rotor. It's got these two strings that obviously like hang from suction cups. Um, it folds down. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this one. I do collect Z-Bot stuff, but this one's just really funky. <laughs> just weird. Uh, but I couldn't pass on it. Just thrown in the deal. Uh, I've got this Z-Bot one, which is pretty neat because it transforms. Um, uh, like, totally transforms into something else. And it's like a platform of some kind. Anyways, yeah, pretty neat. And one last Z-Bot vehicle this one's my favorite i'm definitely keeping this one pretty cool it's got the giant z on the front and he like pops up ah and breaks but uh yeah maybe not broken but i have to put him to back together now <laughs> i don't know how to do that okay um a couple interesting ones well here let's do this one first pretty cool you've got the uh, this is a shadow figure the shadow figure can't remember which dude but because the window's right there you can actually see the light piping in his eyes and uh yeah he's got some nice light piping so the why won't you focus you are the worst yeah there we go but pretty neat Got a really badass King Kong, like battle damaged King Kong that has like a. Uh, what does he do? He like squeezes. I think he's the one that's supposed to rip the uh, dinosaur jaw like in half, which is brutal as shit, but he's pretty cool. I do like King Kong stuff. Don't really collect it. This is amazing, and I know nothing about it. It looks anime ish or video game ish. It's A I O N, and it's this winged angel like dark angel with this giant axe super freaking cool super anime like oh my god it's so cool i'm keeping this it's just a statue uh it's not really posable are the arms posable not really but super cool neat black wings uh okay so these you would think would be mad balls i don't know if they are i cannot find these guys there are knockoff Mad Balls, which I found out while trying to find these guys. Uh, this one's really small, and this one's smaller than the original Mad Balls that I remember, but they did make mini Mad Balls, so if anybody knows what the hell these are, they're not marked. Uh, they obviously squirt water, but um, like I said, this one's, I think, too big to be a mini Mad Ball, but too small to be a regular size Mad Ball, and this one, I just, I just don't know. I don't know what they are, so let me know if you know what they are. That would be awesome. A uh, random Fortnite figure, but he's actually one of the cool ones. <laughs> and I kind of like how they're built a lot like G.I. Joe's, so I may keep him. Don't really do the Fortnite figures. I have one because he was super cool looking, but I may keep this guy. He's pretty neat. Okay. Um, one of my favorite things I've gotten, absolutely one of my favorite things I've gotten, is this Robotech slash... I think it's a mini, it's technically, this is a mini um, Exo Squad, I believe. They took a lot of Robotech stuff and then incorporated it later on into um, uh, Exo Squad. So I remember when I looked this up, I, I'm pretty sure he's Exo Squad, but he's really neat. Pretty cool. Just a little statue. I mean, his arms do move. And uh, yeah, pretty neat. Okay, moving on to some mini things here. I don't know how it's going to focus. I've never seen these kind of cars before. They're like super flat and wide. Like from the side, they look like a micro machine. But from the top, it's like double the width. It's super freaking weird. Uh, yeah, I've never seen those before. I did get this. Which I don't think this is a micro machine. It could be, but I'm pretty sure this guy is. So a couple of little like um, monster truck uh, micro machines. Uh, I'm just going to put these in my hand for you. You guys can check out all of these dudes, which I believe they're all micro machines, but I could be wrong. But we've got all those. Pretty cool little cop car. I don't know if he lights up. I don't, I don't think so, but he's missing something on the back, maybe a bumper or something. But still, always cool to see micro machines. And some weird little crazy vehicle i don't know if it's a micro machine or what but he's really odd <laughs> it's like a scorpion futuristic sci-fi micro machine wheelie guy i don't know 
Okay, we've got a few more small things and then just a few more figures and we're done here. Um, whew, I'm just going to do the same thing and put them in my hand so it's easier to see. And I don't know what some of these are. What's funny is this little colorful, obviously, kids one, just give me one second, um, was in the head, it was in the body of Earthworm Jim, this one right here. <laughs> I don't know if it's like my little pet shop, but there's a turtle. Uh, pretty sure that's Mighty Max. Um, this might be turtles also. I'm not positive about that. And then we've got Shredder. I don't know what this little guy is. If anybody happens to know, uh, leave a comment down below. That'd be awesome. And two of my favorite things I've found that are just tiny. Um, this one I absolutely cannot find online. It's an Optimus Prime. He's old and he does say Hasbro, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, 1986 Hasbro. He's like an Optimus Prime keychain, but he's really clunky and weird and made really shittily and I can't find him anywhere. So if anybody has seen this guy before, uh, let me know. I, he won't focus. There we go. But <laughs> he's odd. He's definitely odd. And then we've got one of the mini G.I. Joes, which um, these guys are actually sought after, and I have a few, so I may be getting rid of these guys. But this is a wetsuit, I believe. This gun's a little... Every one of these has something that's bent on them. But yeah, you do not find these very often, so I was pretty stoked to find that. Um, all right, we're down to the last few toys. Uh, some of the best ones, definitely, for sure. We've got Street Sharks. This is a uh, fast food toy, like little puppet. <laughs> We've got a mini Street Shark, um, Ripper maybe? He's got stripes all over him, really cool, really neat. And the, <laughs> the freaking awesome ones. Uh, first of all, we've got this dude. I don't remember their names off the top of my head. but oh, Actually, I know one of them, but this guy, hmm, I can't remember off the top of my head, but he does work he's got a dead spider in his mouth which i need to clean out and um he's in pretty good shape the crazy thing is is he's a variant um most of these have like blue pants i think or maybe black uh this is the tan or gray pants version and he actually is fairly uncommon so pretty neat to get him i have never run across street shark stuff before and the last street shark we have for you slamu big slamu in really good shape really good shape i cleaned him up and uh he's nice he works very well and uh yeah he's got the gold pants the gold like boxing pants so awesome so really need to find that and the last figures i have for you guys always my favorite to find uh this duck is dirty as hell from battle beasts but uh as you can see i actually cleaned the top of his head it was as dirty as the rest of him so this dirt film will come off, and he has a rub symbol. Mine does not, so this may actually be a replacement for me. Um, this one's not, so he's an extra. Got the Polar Bear Battle Beast. Uh, definitely a cool one. I love his red eyes and red accent, and just like the cool blue. Super neat. And the very last one we have for you guys. Got the Iguana. And he is arguably in such good shape, he's better than mine. But the problem is, is his rub symbol does not work as good as mine does, so... Uh, I'm kind of at this conundrum of do I keep him that is just better overall or do I keep the other guy that's got a working rub symbol? But anyways, that is all. Yep, I told you it was a lot. <laughs> Did I mention that was a lot? I think I said that was a lot. It's a lot. So yeah, uh, that's it for this pickup video. Like I said, there's going to be two other parts. They'll clearly be marked and there is probably going to be a regular pickup video in there as well because i have picked up a bunch of games recently so we'll do one of those and probably the other two parts and yeah i just have so many videos i can do and just haven't gotten around to doing so i need to get off my ass but yeah here you go i hope you guys enjoyed that uh if you haven't already subscribe that would be sweet also i'm on twitch there's still going to be a contest so make sure you're following me on twitch as well because it'll be Make sure you're subscribed here and you're followed here on or followed on Twitch so you can be part of that contest. Uh, like I said, I just need to get my act together, but I have stuff to give away for sure. So if you want to be a part of that, do those things. That would be awesome. Also, leave a comment down below. What was your favorite toy? Uh, what toys have you picked up recently? Do you like the toy pickup videos? Because I've noticed they're not as popular, but I like doing them and I like documenting what I get. So 
Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, the craziness is just beginning. But yeah, stick around and keep rocking the retro games.